The first big chase of the week is next then, and this is the sort of Liverpool's version of the Gold Cup. And it's the Betfred Bolt. It's a furlong shorter on a sharper track, of course, three mile one furlong. So it could be interesting. This one, Old Lang Zines at the top four. Ryan Tamasevi, Flashpoint last week's hero, Leon van Rensburg, all villain, depending if you're a G.I. Joe fan. G.I. Joe is number three for Leon van Rensburg. Golden Miller for Craig Allen, trying to redeem his reputation in uh, number four. Golden Times to David Hooley, Master of Time, Joshua Sullivan, Modern with Darren Thompson, River of Dreams, Ryan Tamasevi, Size in Blues, James Shea, Spring. Gate, Darren Thompson, under Taurus, Craig Allen, Alja Flyer, Martin Leader, Master Leader, John Morgan, Glad All Over, David Robinson's also got Safadash, Josie, Shemadal, Phantom for Thomas Rogerson, Supreme Cara for John Morgan. They're called in, it's raining again, and they make their way towards the first of the fences in this then, and the rain stopped just for the four-year-old hurdle as they get over the first of the 17th, they're all safe here, but last week's Gold Cup when a flash point was extremely untidy at the back, and has found himself three lengths adrift of the field after the first fence now he saw the favourite do that at the Gold Cup last week Old Lang Syne and never really recovered from it so keep your eye on that one then as they get over fly, uh, fence number two and Flashpoint did it again went straight through the top so I don't know what the problem is with that one G.I. Joe's also towards the back but at the moment the reigning Gold Cup winner been the champion for a week and has jumped two fences so far and has nearly fell up both of them and it's Springgate in the lead and as they come down to number three they're all safely over that one. We had Springgate, the leader, by three lengths to ask the leader in Old Lang Syne as the cameraman getting the shakes for a second or two as we go past the winning post. And we're going to make our way out now with two more complete circuits of the Liverpool track to go. And Springgate's the leader. Ask the leader has moved through into second. Old Lang Syne much closer this week in third. Then comes Alger Flyer and Golden Miller and Supreme Cara and then Monolith. And we can still we can just about see Golden Times and River of Dreams on the outside. Quite a few of these out of shot at this stage as we focus in on the leading group. And it's Springgate who leads by about four lengths to ask the leader in second and Old Lang Syne is third. Then Alger Flyer on the inside. A former in the Gold Cup last week is fourth. And we can just about see Monolith and Supreme Cara. And then right on the outside there, River of Dreams. And the rest of them are out of shot and unable to describe their actions at this point but they're presumably all still going well as they take number four a uh, mistake there by ask the leader uh, seen him go right back down to about fourth or fifth uh, springgate then will lead as they come down towards the next with old lang Syne a clear second there as they get over fence number five and make their way towards number six you can see just at the back of the pack there the Joshua Sutherland horse master of time being pulled to the outside as they get over number six and Springgate we're focusing on in the lead with the rest of them chasing and we change angles again and we can only see four of them now uh, <laughs> Springgate in the lead from Old Lang Syne and that's the leader then Alger Flyer and Size in Blues and then Monolith as they get to number seven you can see one of the Leon Van Rensburg horses getting much closer that looks to be G.I. Joe but the Difficult to see who's doing what at the moment, and it's Springgate in the lead by about four lengths to Old Lang Syne and Ask the Leader, and then Alja Flyer, and then comes Supreme Cara. G.I. Joe is now tucked in on the inside, then Monolith and Size in Blues with River of Dreams as they get to number eight. And over that one they go, and there's a faller at the back there. Safanash Josie has gone, so just about caught sight of Safanash Josie falling, and that's the first one to depart the race. And Springgate. He's in the lead by about a length and a half to ask the leader in second. And ask the leader once again went right through that. And John Morgan will be really disappointed with the way some of his jumpers are jumping this season. Because when they jump well, they run well. But more often than not, they give a few wallops to the fences and quite often end up finishing the race without the jockey. But it's Springgate that's going to lead them past the big screen and down towards the fence that'll be the final fence on the next circuit and um, Springgate will be hoping to be in that same position next time round leading by a good three to four lengths as they pass the winning post then and prepare to swing left handed and there's a lot of about six of them sharing second the John Morgan pair asked the leader and Supreme Cara two of them Old Lang Syne tucked in between them uh, sizing blues has got the rail Monolith and Master of Time with the two that are wide on the track Alger Flyer in the orange jacket is still there as well and so to G.I. Joe in the blue with a yellow cap looking for Flashpoint in the Gold Cup winner he's starting to make his way through the field a little bit Golden Miller and under Taurus are out the back again as well so those two are obviously going to hope to come with a bit of a rear rattle but it's difficult to get past the leaders in this on this track as we saw in the last race and Springgate is in front 
um, leads by two with Aston Leader in second and Old Lang Syne third and then Supreme Cara four and River of Dreams five then comes Alja Flora and Size in Blues and then G.I. Joe Monolith and Glad all over a Master of Time as they take number 11 slow jump there by G.I. Joe has seen that one lose its place but it's Springgate who continues to spring along in the lead from Ask the Leader in second who would surely be clear if it hadn't been for all those mistakes jump that one really well though and also a good jump by G.I. Joe in the pack the three or four at the back are beginning to just lose touch a little bit and having to be rousted along to keep in touch with the leading group and again Ask the Leader nearly down and got away with it Springgate though still in the lead Ask the Leader giving the jockey a Real helter skelter, hair and scare and ride around this track at the moment, but it's Springgate in front now. Old Lang Syne comes through to make its challenge as they come down towards number 14. And Old Lang Syne landed in the lead. Old Lang Syne has gone on in now by a length to Springgate in second. That's the leader, his next size in blues looks to be going well on the inside. Here comes G.I. Joe, master of time round the outside. Alger flies now beaten under Taurus is running on as they race in there towards the final three furlongs and the final three fences. And it's Old Lang Syne coming to a third last. Gets over it nicely. He's clear of G.I. Joe in second. Master of Time in third. Flashpoint trying to get into it on the outside. Then Supreme Cara as they come down towards the final two fences. Then now it's Old Lang Syne who's got first run, but G.I. Joe is closing. It's Old Lang Syne in the lead. Coming towards this second last. Gets over it nicely. G.I. Joe over it in second. Then Supreme Cara and Springgate. Flashpoint's not going to be winning this week. And it's Old Lang Syne in the lead. Old Lang Syne by two lengths now. Racing down towards the final fence then. In the bet, Fred Bowl and it's Old Lang Syne. Two lengths and here comes Springgate with a renewed challenge coming down towards this final fence it's Old Lang Syne and Springgate Old Lang Syne stepped off it got away from it well though it's Old Lang Syne from Springgate and Supreme Car and G.I. Joe's back in fourth it's got to be Old Lang Syne he's got to make up for one lot winning the Gold Cup and Old Lang Syne takes it Supreme Car a second then G.I. Joe Springgate has the leader Golden Miller and Flashpoint nowhere near this week and Old Lang Syne who's been probably the most consistent three miler throughout the season didn't run well last week in the gold cup made a mistake at the first or second fence and never recovered from it but made no mistake today and gets the big win that it probably deserves so old lang syne then the winner for ryan tamasebi supreme cara for john morgan was second springgate ran an absolutely blind of a race for darren thompson in third looked like it was coming back to to win it, Leon van Rensburg will have to settle for fourth this week with G.I. Joe and Golden Miller ran on to be fifth for Craig Allen with last week's Gold Cup winner Flashpoint only sixth.